Hi, this is Molly, and welcome to the video for Wooden Paper, an overview for the K-2 science curriculum. Student learning outcome themes. These are the themes of student learning outcomes in Wooden Paper. Observe and communicate observations, compare properties, change properties, Organize information and build and perfect constructions. The entire list of student learning outcomes will be covered in other videos and can also be found on the BPS Science Weebly. Science and Engineering Practices While all eight science and engineering practices could be identified in this unit, these are the practices that seem most obvious. Asking questions and defining problems, developing and using models, planning and carrying out investigations, and analyzing and interpreting data. Kit materials. In each kit you receive from the Boston Public Schools Science Department, you will find an inventory checklist. Please review the checklist once before you begin working on the unit and again before you send it back. There are a number of wood samples in each kit. I suggest labeling each piece with a color code or a letter as they will get mixed up throughout the unit. Also, there are two bags of base wood or pine samples in each kit. One bag is consumable and will be used in the investigation, while the other must be returned with the kit. There are a number of consumable materials in wood and paper that will be marked on your inventory checklist. You are not responsible for replacing these materials, however, if you have any left over, please return them with your kit. Finally, as you pack up your wood and paper kit, please make sure that you have cleaned each item that you're returning and it's completely dry before you place it back in the box. Unit Overview. Here's a breakdown of the investigations in this unit. One, getting to know wood. Two, changing wood. Three, getting to know paper. Four, changing paper. And five, constructions. Overall theme, trees. The wood and paper kit is very much based on physical science. While teaching this unit, I like to keep up life cycle maps like these to remind students that each object they are observing or changing originated from a tree. I revisit these maps and add to them as we move through the unit to help students track information, as well as remind them to conserve. Science Notebooks. There are a number of ways that you can use notebooks for science. Some teachers prefer to make one notebook per unit, while others use one large notebook for the entire year. Either way you choose, you can find questions to guide your notebooks on page 19 under the Duplication Master's tab of your curriculum guide. In addition to the actual notebook, some other materials that you should have available for students include pencils, pens, I like the felt tip pens, colored pencils, tape, and a glue stick. Science notebooks are a great way to assess learning and track progress throughout the year. Focus on K2 connections. It is important to note the connections from this curriculum to the BPS Focus on K2 curriculum. While I'm sure you could connect the wood and paper unit with any of the Focus on K2 units, the two that really stand out to me are Unit 3, Construction, and Unit 4, Our Earth. I chose Construction because 
The first two investigations in this unit discuss the properties of wood and changing wood. These are two ideas that come up when discussing building materials and building design. I also think that wood and paper connects with our earth for a number of reasons. One is there is part of an investigation in changing paper where students actually make recycled paper. Another connection that is not explicitly taught in wood and paper, but is a conversation that usually comes up in class discussions. That is forest conservation. As students discover the different uses for trees, they begin to pay more attention to the trees surrounding them and noticing how important they are to an ecosystem. Mess management. The investigations in this unit can be very messy. However, with a little bit of extra planning and flexibility, you can make cleanup a lot less painful. My first suggestion when planning a messy investigation is take it outside. Investigations like making paper mache are a great example of how you can make any activity an outside activity. If there's a messy activity and the weather is not conducive for outdoor learning, another great option is using large plastic trays. These might be donated to your school from the hospital or they can be purchased by most school supply sites. The last option might be to cover tables with old newspapers or plastic bags. This makes for a quick and easy cleanup, but it also creates a lot of waste. Here are some additional resources that you might find helpful while teaching wood and paper. The first is the Boston Public Schools Science Weebly. You also might want to look on FOSS Online for websites and games that students can play about wood and paper. The last two are videos about paper and wood that are short and very engaging. That's all I have for this video. I hope you found it very helpful. Thank you and enjoy teaching wood and paper.